What? <sighs> Man. Meanwhile, he's in the crapper. Come and get it. Hey guys, today we're checking out Pulp Fiction from 1994. Let's get to it. Okay, we are checking out Pulp Fiction. I feel like it's gonna be super gory and super full of swears, so we'll see how that goes. Pulp, shapeless massive matter, a magazine book containing lurid subject matter and being characteristically printed on a rough, unfinished paper. Pulp Fiction. I like the title. I get it, it's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You always say that, the same thing every time. I love diner breakfast. I mean, the way it is now, <laughs> taking the same risk as when you rob a bank. Are we robbing something? Don't even need a gun in a federal bank. What about this one bloke who walks the bank with a portable phone. He gives the phone to the teller. The bloke on the other end of the phone says, we got this guy's little girl. If you don't give him all your money, we're gonna kill her. Did it work? Not even a gun, huh? You wanna rob banks? I'm not saying I wanna rob banks, I'm just illustrating that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. Besides, it ain't a giggle it used to be. It's too many foreigners on liquor stores. Vietnamese, Koreans, I don't even speak English. <sighs> I'm not gonna kill anybody. I don't wanna kill anybody either. She's like in love. You know what, then? Day jobs? Not in this life. All right, so they're robbers. They gotta quit. Garçon, coffee. Garçon means boy. <laughs> True. This place, a coffee shop. What's wrong with that? Restaurants on the other end. You catch with their pants down. And they do have a lot of money on site, usually. I bet you could cut down on the hero factor in a place like this. Well, same as banks. These places are insured. Manager. <laughs> you don't give a f waitress. <laughs> Forget it. Well, he's, he's not wrong. Last liquor store we stuck up, remember? You got the idea, taking their wallets. A lot of people come to restaurants. A lot of wallets. Hmm. They're hatching a plan. Same as last time, remember? Your crowd control oh. behind employees. Mm. Oh, geez. They just get off on the heisting, huh? Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And the Oh my god, all right, she's the muscle. All right, here we go. All right, Tarantino, I've seen Django, and I saw Inglorious Bastards on the channel, and that's one of my favorite things that I've watched, surprisingly. So I'm really excited to check out another Tarantino. Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, let's see this cast. Uma Thurman, yes, I've seen this scene, like this, but that's it, and I don't know what the context of that scene is, just dancing. Bing Rames, I know him from Mission Impossibles. Cool. Christopher Walken. Okay, I've seen him in A View to a Kill, Wayne's World, and Bruce Willis. Oh my god, I've seen so many Bruce Willis movies on this channel. Love Bruce. Love him. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. A lot of horns so far. You know I love that. Tell me again about the hash brown. Old Dead Samuel L. Jackson. That's legal, but ain't 100%. I mean, that's the right the cop stamps and don't have. Oh, man. I'm going. I'm going. But you know what the funniest thing about Europe is? I mean, they got the same shit over there that they got here, but it's just, just there. It's a little different. I've never been to Europe, but I want to go. And you know what they call it? A quarter pounder with cheese and Paris? The Royale with cheese. So classy. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. <laughs> Le Big Mac. You know what they put on French fries in Holland instead of ketchup? Or what? Mayonnaise? Ew, I hate that. I really hate mayonnaise. People do that here too, though. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. Are they robbers too? They're wearing suits. They're classy robbers if they're robbers. We know it's gonna be violent. It's Tarantino. You remember Antoine Rocamora? Half black, half Samoan. Yeah, maybe fat, right? I wouldn't go so far as to call the brother fat. I mean, he got a weight problem. It's a cool shot. So much negative space. Uh, Marcellus him up good. Word around the campfire is it was on account of Marcellus Wallace's wife. Marcellus Wallace. I wonder if there are villains in this or if it's just a bunch of people. So what'd he do? Okay. He gave her a foot massage. I've heard Tarantino has a foot fetish. Is this a thing? Sent a couple of cats over to his place. They took him out on his patio, threw his ass over the balcony. For a foot massage? Cause it depends on what kind of foot massage. Is it as bad as eating her out? Yeah, no. It's the same ball pump. Whoa, whoa. Well, no, 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 no. Ain't no ballpark neither. Maybe your method of massage differs from mine. Have you ever given a foot massage? <laughs> Don't be telling me about foot massages. I'm the foot <laughs> master. <laughs> Would you give a guy a foot massage? You. Good point. You know, I'm kind of tired. I can use a foot massage myself. <laughs> yo, 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 man, you best back off. I'm getting a little pissed here. These two. I never thought I would see this team up. What time you got? 7.22 in the a.m. No, ain't quite time yet. Come on, let's hang back. 7.22 in the morning. They're just hanging around in suits. You're saying a foot massage don't mean nothing. I'm saying it does. And look, I've given a million ladies a million foot massages, and they all meant something. This is all one shot, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? It's an interesting point. Come on, let's get into character. Get into character. 
character. All right, all right. Why are you so interested in Big Man's wife? Well, he's going out of town in Florida, and he asked me if I'd take care of her while he's gone. Take care of her? No, man. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. Hmm? Show her a good time, make sure she don't get lonely. You're going to be taking Mia Wallace out on a date. It is not a date. Sounds like a date. Hope he doesn't get killed. All right, what are we doing, boys? Hey, kids. Just eating burgers at 7 in the morning. You know who we are? You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace, don't you, Brett? The big kahuna. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. What you having? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! For breakfast. Should have been an Egg McMuffin. Where'd you get them? Big kahuna burger. Big kahuna burger. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? These guys love chit-chat, huh? Just eating his burger. Are they there for intimidation? You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France. Royale with cheese. No. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. It's being so intimidating back there. Because of the metric system? Check out the big brain yes. on bread. He's intimidating eating that burger there. Won't you tell my man, Vincent, where you got your shit at? So over there. I don't remember asking you a god thing. Shh. These guys look frightened. I think they're going to get beat up. What is it, money? Is it gold bars? Look at that shiny. Yeah, yeah we have. I want to see what's in there. I just want you to know how. Uh. I just want you to know how sorry we are. I never. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Did he shoot him? Please, continue. Oh, you were finished. Are they, gonna, are they just gonna shoot them all? What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? Is he gonna shoot them all? He shot that guy, right? What ain't no country I ever heard of? <laughs> what? English mother. Do you speak it? Yes! It's gonna shoot him in the head. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again. Don't Say shoot him. what again. I dare you. He's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a big What? Uh oh. Oh, frig. Marcellus Wallace is the big boss. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. Right. So it fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25, 17. He's gonna shoot them. And you will know my name He's is gonna shoot the him. Lord. When I lay my vengeance upon thee. Oh, Frig, oh, Frig. Vincent Vega and Marcellus Wallace's wife. Frig. You're gonna find uh, in your days are just about over. Maybe this is Marcellus talking. How many fights do you think you got in you anyway? Two? Boxers don't have an old time stick. Alright, he's a boxer. Bruce the boxer. See, so you about to get shot? What is this? It's money. It's money. It's not a gun. Bruce looks good. You my name? It certainly appears so. <laughs> the night of the fight, you may feel a slight sting. That's pride. What you Wants him to take a dive? Pride only hurts. It never helps. I think he's Marcellus. Because a year from now, when you're kicking it in the Caribbean, you're going to say to yourself, Marcellus Wallace was right. In the fifth, your ass goes down. Mm-hmm. That's hard for, like, an athlete. Will you do it, Bruce? In the fifth, my ass goes down. Yeah. I don't know, but oh, Vincent Vega, we'll I'm see. in Amsterdam. <laughs> He's nice. What's up with them clothes? You don't even want to know. <laughs> what are they wearing? <laughs> so I hear you taking me out of my At Marcellus's request. Have you made me up? Not yet. <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's a big man's wife. I'm gonna sit across from her, chew my food, my mouth closed, laugh at her jokes, and that's it. We'll see. You looking at something, friend? He ain't my friend, Palooka. What's that? I think you heard me just fine, Punchy. Punchy. Vincent Vega's in the house, Jay. Vincent Vega. That's a name, and he's looking fly in those shorts. This is Panda from Mexico. Very good stuff. Different, but equally good. First two are the same. 300 a gram. Those are friend prices. Just wearing a bathrobe. This one is a Madman. Remember, I just got back from Amsterdam. I'll take the Pepsi challenge with that Amsterdam sh any old day of the week. That's a bold statement. That is bold. I feel like the drugs in Amsterdam are... Coke is dead. Heroin is coming back. Give me three grand of Madman. Okay. I just hope that I still have some left for you. I'm giving you some out of my own private stash. That is what a nice guy I am. Is he gonna do heroin and then go on the date? Seemed like a bad idea. Still got your Malibu? You know what some did the other day? What? Cheated. Look Stack. Woof. I'm up here. Hey, I like this base. All right, so he's all left up for sure. Yeah, so crazy, man. You drive when you're on heroin? Well, I guess. I feel like he's gonna do something wrong with the wife and get in big, big trouble. They made a big deal out of crossing lines with the boss's wife. We already know he. 
F someone up for a foot massage. He won't foot massage her. He already said that. Hi, Vincent. I'm getting dressed. The door's open. Come inside and make yourself a drink. Mia. Good music in this. Vincent. She's just watching him? <laughs> He's all high. He's probably like... <laughs> where, is, where is the intercom? It's on the wall by the two African fellows. It's probably tripping him out. Hello. Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. The bar's by the fireplace. I'm pretty amused by him at, what, at like this high. I like that two shakes of a lamb's tail. Let's go. I love his feet, huh? Feet are not my thing. This is Jack Rabbit Slims. Come on, man. Let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy O. Don't be a. As a square. I like her little. She's kind of talking in these little. These little sayings. Daddy O would be a square. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. What kind of place is this? A reservation under Wallace. Reserved a car. Why don't you see them over there in the Chrysler? This is quite a place. All right. I feel like this place would be trippy if you were all messed up. Ricky Nelson, I've heard of him. Should they eat in the car? That's kind of cool. What do you think? I think it's like a wax museum with a pulse. <laughs> I am Buddy. Can I get you? Buddy Holly? wonder what character I would play if I worked there. I'll have the Durward Kirby Burger and... $5 shake. Is that Buscemi? Did you just order a $5 shake? That sounds expensive for 1994. That's a shake. That's milk and ice cream. You don't put bourbon in or nothing? <laughs> no. It is Buscemi. I've seen him in Fargo, Lebowski, and Armageddon. Is she getting out a new Could cigarette you, when she um, hasn't even finished the old one? Roll me one of those, <laughs> cowboy. You can have this one, cowgirl. Thanks. Oh, well, she's very beautiful. He's in big trouble. Is she gonna try and flirt with him? Marsala said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. How long were you there? Just over three years. Oh, I thought you just went for like a little trip. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. Would watch. <laughs> Character I played, Raven McCoy. Her background was she grew up raised by circus performers. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. Sounds like a fun show. And she knew a zillion old jokes. Her grandfather, an old vaudevillian taught her. She know any animal jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. It's corny. I want to hear it. I promise I want to laugh. That's what I'm afraid of, Vince. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You know it. Martin and Lewis. Bad Alice shake. Vanilla that looks coke. good. <laughs> With the whip on top. Ooh. I wonder how she met Marcellus. You think I can have a sip of that? You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe <laughs> I do. Cooties. Like a cootie shot? I feel like Marcellus must be worried about her cheating if he's sending her out with his friends. Doesn't trust her to be alone. Don't you hate that? Uncomfortable silences. That's when you know you found somebody really special. And you can sit and you silence. can just shut up for a minute and comfortably share silence. That's actually pretty true. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose. I know what that means now. And think of something to say. I'll do that. I wonder how long till like the heroin wears off. I really, I really don't know. Powder her nose indeed. Don't you just love it when you come back from the bathroom to find your food waiting for you? So do you think it's something to say? Actually I did. However. I like him in this. But you have to promise not to be offended. No, 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 no. Uh oh. You can't promise something like that. Let's just forget it. That's an impossibility. Yeah, now we have to know. What did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? Oh, Antoine. Antoine. Foot Tony thing. Rocky Horror. Fell out of a window. Well, that is one way to say it. Just smoking while he eats. Another way would be was he was thrown out by Marcellus because of you. I wonder if it's true. Who told you? They. They just said that Antoine had given you a foot massage. And? And, and nothing. Not true. Can you believe that? Well, I mean, at the time I was told it sounded reasonable. Is he smoking a joint at the table? <laughs> but did it happen? Only thing Antoine ever touched in mind was my hand when he shook it at my wedding. So why did he throw him out a window? The truth is nobody knows why Marcellus threw Tony out of that four-story window except Marcellus and Tony. When you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. God. Gossip. World famous Jackrabbit Slims Twist Contest. Ooh, this must be the... Now, who will be our first contestants? Right here. Want to dance? <laughs> I want to see Travolta dance. Speaking of which, should we watch Saturday Night Fever? No shoes. I do want to see Travolta dance. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks 
the old twist. Pretty good. There we go. Here we go. I feel like they're gonna sleep together. I'm not sure though. This movie is unpredictable, I could tell. I feel like it would be easier to twist in socks. They're both so serious about it. You know I love a dance break in a movie. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know if, if this is gonna cross the line or not. They, they keep talking about it. I won the trophy! Uh-oh. Is that what you call an uncomfortable silence? I don't know what you call that. Chemistry! Uh-oh. He's in big trouble, I think. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. I feel like something's gonna happen. I'm getting this feeling like something's about to go wrong here. One drink, and that's it. Yeah, buddy, right. Drink your drink. We'll do it quickly. And then get out. It's not gonna happen. If he sleeps with her, he's in big trouble. All he has to do is kiss her and he's in big trouble. <laughs> he's in big trouble. I mean, maybe he doesn't do anything and he still gets Marcellus pissed off. Oh, shoot. Is she into that? Something tells me, yes. Walk out the door, get in the car, go home. Off, and that's all you're gonna do. <laughs> right, yeah, right. She's not gonna snort that, right? Uh oh. She was not expecting that. Her nose is bleeding. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Come on, girl. Uh oh, uh oh. Is she gonna die? <gasps> she just thought it was Coke. Don't die on me, Mia. Where is he going? He probably has a guy. Like, I'm not taking her to a hospital, I bet. Answer. <laughs> Oh, this guy. Fruit brute. Now what do you say? I it's her own. Yes. Vincent, I'm in big trouble, man. I'm coming to your house. What's he gonna do? Don't bring her here. She's ODing. She's dying on me, man. What can he do? Oh, jeez. What was that? <laughs> do you drive into the house? You are not bringing this into hey. my house. It's this yeah, he's gonna kill them both. Who's she? Go to the fridge and get the thing with the, the adrenaline shot. What's wrong with her? Do they have they have something? Hurry up, man! Some loose in there! Look at the house! Right it's a mess. What's he looking for? It's a book. It's gonna get a book on giving her the shot? Oh god, oh god. Put the f around and give her the shot. Come on. Okay, while I'm doing this, you take off her shirt and find her heart. We're giving it to her in the heart? Oh my god. Okay, I think it's ready. You're gonna give it a shot. You're gonna give it a shot. I ain't giving it a shot. I ain't giving it a shot. Look at that needle. I don't know if they can do this. You gotta bring the needle down in a stabbing motion. I, I gotta, I, I gotta stab her three times. You can stab her once, but it's gotta be hard enough to get through her breastplate into her heart. Then what, then what happens? She's supposed to come out of it like that. Really? Like right away? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Two. She's excited. Right. She woke up right away. Ew, it's still in her. If you're all right, then say something. Something. That was trippy. Right? She looks bad. Well, she's not dead, but that was brutal. I feel like he's going to be in trouble for that. What's your thoughts on, on, not on telling. how to handle this? <laughs> Marcellus. If Marcellus knew about this incident, I'd be in as much trouble as you. Well, that's good then. She won't tell. I can keep a secret if you can. Shake on it. Can she? Do you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? I do. I can't wait. Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Papa tomato, mama tomato, and baby tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind, and Papa tomato gets really angry. Goes back and squishes him. Says, ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> See you around. Probably not. Well, that was intense. Butch, stop watching TV a second. Yeah, I've got a special visitor. This is young, young Bruce Willis, Butch, the boxer. Do you remember when I told you your daddy died in the POW camp? It's Christopher Walken. Yeah. This here is Captain Coons. He was in the POW camp with daddy. I just watched something else with him in it that's coming next week. You will see. I was a good friend of your dad's. We were in that Hanoi pit of together over five years five years in a pow camp let's watch it was first purchased by your great-grandfather during the first world war great-grandfather gave this watch to your granddad for good luck this watch has seen some sh granddad was facing death he knew it and your granddad asked a gunner on an air force transport named a wanaki to deliver to his infant son what you did this watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down on that hanoi you'd be damned if any 
was going to put the greasy yellow hands on his boy's birthright, so he hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something. His ass. Five <laughs> long years he wore this watch. Up his ass. What? He died of dysentery. He gave me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass. Two years. <laughs> oh my god. Now, Lovely story that, until then. I gave the watch to you. Apart from all the dying and prison camps and stuff. <laughs> Well, that's a story. All right, all right, all right. Is he gonna take a dive in the fifth? If he doesn't, Marcellus will kill him, probably. Butch, 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 the gold watch. I like how there's like chapters. Have you think he knew Wilson was dead? My guess would be yes, Richard. He killed someone in the ring? Did Butch kill someone? Yeah, Butch killed the guy. He killed him. Well, he's in big trouble, right? I'm not a fan of this haircut on, on uh, Vincent, though. I suppose it works for the character. Is this before or after they met him? I think it's after. And then thank you for dinner. Okay, so after. What you got? He booked his trainer. He says he don't know nothing. What you search? How do you want it done? I'm prepared to scour the earth for that mother. All right, Butch is in big trouble. You don't mess with Marcellus. I know this now. You were in that fight. They fight on the radio. It's so sweaty. You killed the other boxing man. Not on purpose, right? He's dead. The radio said he was dead. He didn't know. You were the first person I've ever met who has killed somebody. What does it feel like to kill a man? Who is this girl? Esmeralda. Esmeralda. I didn't know he was dead until you told me he was dead. I feel the least bit bad about it. Oh, I thought he would regret it. Okay. Now where does he go to get away from Marcellus? How many bookies you lay around them? All eight? I want to collect. So we bet on the long shot and it paid off. Yeah, it'll probably take us a couple days to get down to Knoxville. Okay, my brother. <laughs> You're right. I think he's gonna get murdered. If anybody asks you who your fan was tonight, what are you gonna say? It's two, three, well dressed, slightly toasted Mexican. I wonder if she'll talk though. He's on borrowed time. Hard day at the office? It's hard. I was looking at myself in the mirror. I wish I had a pot. A pot. Pot bellies are sexy. You should be happy because you have one. Shut up, pot so <laughs> I don't have a pot. I feel like that's a very French thing. If you had a pot belly, I would punch you in it. You'd punch me what? in my belly? I'd smother you. I'd drop it right on your face. I bet he is pretty smelly. He didn't even shower after a full fight. Did everything go as planned? You didn't listen to the radio? Did it all work out in the finish? They're not away. Yet. We're not at the finish yet, baby. I think it's. I don't mm. think they're gonna make it. I'm starting to get nervous. We're in a lot of danger, aren't we? Mm -hmm. If they find us, they'll kill us, won't they? Yes. But they won't find us, will they? Oh man, one of them's gonna die now. Do you love me? Oh boy. Very, very much. I'm first me her now. Well, last night before they both get murdered, probably. Which? Yes, lemon pie. Where are we going to go? Well, I'm not sure yet. I feel like you should have a plan, a getaway. Get a lot of money from this. I was thinking maybe we could go down someplace in the South Pacific. Yeah, they should already be on a plane. You startled me. Did you have a bad dream? The watch dream again? It's a little early in the morning. But I'm getting real tense. Why don't you get up and have some breakfast? One more kiss and I'll get up. Stop. You know what I'm gonna have for breakfast? What, let me buy. I'm gonna order a big plate of blueberry pancakes. Ooh, that sounds good. Anything to drink with this? A tall glass of orange juice and a black cup of coffee. After that, I'm going to have a slice of pie. Pie for breakfast? I like her style. Where's my watch? The watch. Where's my father's watch? Do you have any idea what he had to go through to get me that watch? Right. Did you get it? I believe so. You believe so? Does that mean you either did or you didn't get it? Then I did. Did she? Uh... You sure? Nope. Fire! <laughs> no! Oh man. It's not your fault. I think he's gonna go back for it wherever it was. I did you about it, but I didn't illustrate how personal the watch was to me. Yeah, he should have told the story. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Breakfast. He's going back. He's gonna get murdered. Won't the gangsters be looking for you there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna find out. Oh man, he's about to get killed. Specifically reminded her, bedside table, on the kangaroo. Say the words, don't forget my father's wife. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, he's gonna get murdered. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, he's definitely gonna get murdered. I would be like crawling. They're probably just waiting in the apartment. I mean, I get it, the watch we heard. We heard what it went through to get to him. But come on. They're obviously watching it. He knows this. I feel like he should be running then at this point. In, out, in, out, in, out. Right in the front door. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dude, 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 dude. Fast, fast, fast. Well, don't. 
It's a tr go, go fast. Don't hang around there. What are you doing? No, no, no. Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? You're an idiot. See something? <gasps> oh, frick. We'll go get, get out of there. Oh my god. Just in the bathroom. Should have took his gun with him. Oh! My fire alarm goes off every time I make Pop Tarts as well. Well, Samuel L. Jackson's probably there. Alright, so what? He's dead? Vincent's dead? Oh. Get out of there! Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Kill it. Just hide it in your pants and go. Do not stay. Now run! Run now. Go at the back. Dang, he's walking slow. Is that it? He got away? Well, that is surprising. I still don't feel like he's safe. It's Marcellus right there, like, getting some cake. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's in big trouble now. He's dead. <laughs> Not dead. And pissed, if I had to guess. That guy was a drunken maniac. He hit you, and then he crashed into that car. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'll be dead. Oh, frig. Ah, uh, you better go, bud. <laughs> oh, frig. You up, Come here, Sell his gun, though, right? Hold it right there, Oh, God there's it. a shooting face. none of your business, mister! Dude, you should just get out of there. You know what I'm saying, man? Toss the weapon. Approach the counter right now. Is there a boat just passed out on the floor? Oh, my God. Zed Maynard. Yeah, the spider just caught a couple of flies. I thought he was calling 911. What is this? What's he putting all over them? Guys. Nobody kills anybody in my place of business at Mir Zed. That's it. I'm nervous about who Zed is. Well, dudes, now you have to help each oh, other out. So this one right here, he's gonna shoot that one. Is that right? You gonna shoot him, boy? It's a cop. Bring out the gimp. Get the gimp sleeping. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? The gimp? What is going on? I am nervous. What, 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 what is this? Like a creature? Like a, like a, like an animal? Oh my god. It's a person. What? Uh. Which one of you want to do first? I ain't for sure yet. I have no idea what they're gonna do, but I'm terribly frightened. Oh my god, this is so tense. You are it. Yes, it means you, big boy. What are they gonna do? You wanna do it in here? No, you back here rustled up, man. Is this the guy they just kidnapped and do whatever to? You keep an eye on this one. He used the watch. If only it was a gadget watch. Go, go, go. Don't worry about that. Just get out. Fast, fast, fast. Faster, faster, faster. Is he gonna go back for him? Really? Take a gun. Dude, dude, dude. I feel like he had a shift to get away. I mean, I get it, but it's gonna smash that. It's gonna make so much noise. Oh, God. A sword! Katana. I can't believe he's going back for him. If he gets it, Marcellus will have to forgive him, right? But oh my god, this is, this is... I don't know who these guys are, but I feel like you don't mess with them. You better hurry then, man. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Hurry up! <laughs> hurry! <laughs> Stab him! You want that gun? No, he's in. Go ahead and pick it up. Are you joking? Well, he loves to fight. Stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him. I want you to pick it up. <gasps> Step aside, what? Oh, I thought it was the other guy, the bad guy. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know who's a good guy here, but... You okay? No, man. Oh. What now? They should make sure they're dead. I'm gonna call a couple of hard pipe hitting go to work on the homes here with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. I mean, what now between me and you? Yeah, there's square, right? And not the square Mia was talking about. There is no me 
in you. So we cool? Yeah, we cool. You leave town tonight, and when you're gone, you stay gone. I feel like this is fair. You lost all your LA privileges, deal? Deal. Deal. Man, that was dark. I'll take it. I was wondering who Grace was. Fabian! I hope she's Fabian! okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Get your sh We gotta go right now. Oh, she's okay. Okay, she's alive. She's alive. Are we in danger? Girl. <sighs> Shut up. Where did you get this motorcycle? It's not a motorcycle, baby. It's a chopper. Come on. Get to the chopper. I hope Marcellus called off all his goons, though. You hurt? Hurry up. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. You were gone so long, I started to think dreadful thoughts. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to worry. This girl. Whose motorcycle is this? It's a chopper, baby. It's a chopper. To Zed. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. The Bonnie situation. Yes, you did, Brett. <laughs> and my son is Wallace. Don't like to be. Oh. Ezekiel 25, 17. Dude, you should stay in there if you don't want to get hurt. And then they shoot him. But then what happens? I mean, we see Vincent later, but I don't think we've seen the other guy. Die, you <laughs> oh, shoot. He missed them. Well, we know he missed Vincent, but I thought he might shoot the other guy. He should have just stayed in there. See the size of that gun he fired at us? It was bigger than him. We should be f dead, man. That's really lucky. No, 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 no. That wasn't luck. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? Miracle? Scott came down from heaven and stopped these mother bullets. I think it's time for us to leave, Jules. Don't do that. Don't Jules. blow this shit off. Do you want to continue this theological discussion in a car? Yeah, they made a lot of noise. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to acknowledge it can we go now we don't see him later maybe he leaves the life do you want to play blind man go walk with a shepherd but me my eyes are wide open i mean that's it for me from here on in you can sit on my retired he is gonna retire he's had a religious experience marvin what do you make of all this man i don't Erica. even have an opinion i mean do you think that god came down from heaven and stopped <gasps> oh, what, the fuck's what by accident chill out man i told you it was an ex you probably he went over a bump or hey, something hey the guy ain't hit no mother Oh, shoot. Well, that's not lucky. What you doing? I'm calling my partner, Toluca Lake. When he turned around with the gun, I was like, that's not very safe. Me and my homeboy in some serious shit, man. We're in a car. We got to get off the road pronto. I need to use your garage for a couple hours. He's got, like, brains on him. Ugh. God, Jimmy, this some serious going man shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied that's with Tarantino, some right? freeze-dried taste his choice, right? Is he always in his own movies, like, in a little part? I don't need you to tell me how good my coffee is okay but you know what's on my mind right now it ain't the coffee in my kitchen it's the dead in my garage but jimmy we're not gonna <laughs> store them <laughs> don't you realize man that a bonnie comes home the bonnie situation now look you know i kind of want to come from work in about an hour and a half you gotta make some phone calls you gotta call some people do it and then get the on my house before she gets here all i want to do is call my people get them bring us in that's all don't get blood on anything what do you think she'll do oh no She'll freak. That ain't no kind of answer. He's so cool. You got to appreciate what an explosive element this Bonnie situation is. They have brains all over them. Go back in there and chill them is out and wait for the wolf who should be coming directly. You send in the wolf? Who's the wolf? You mean the principal's the wolf. name again. It's a cool nickname. Nine minutes, 37 seconds later. The wolf. In a bow tie. Should I be? 40 minutes to get the f*** out of Dodge. Which, if you do what I say, when I say it, should be plenty. You got a corpse in a car, like minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Oh, look at this car. They should just torch it. Do me a favor, will you? Put this lots of coffee back there. Would you make me a cup? Hey, you, would I take it? Lots of cream, lots of sugar. I'm a one and one kind of girl. He's a fixer. Here you go, Mr. Rupp. Thank you, Jimmy. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I need blankets, I need comforters, I need quilts, I need bedspreads. We need to camouflage the interior of the car. I feel like I'm learning so much. Boys, get to work. Please would be nice. Come again? I said a please would be nice. Oh, dude, come on. Get it straight, Buster. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. If my help's not appreciated, lots of luck, gentlemen. I respect you. I just don't like people barking orders at me, that's all. Boys. I think fast, I talk fast, and I need you guys to act fast if you want to get out of this. So, pretty please, with sugar on top. Clean the car. Fast. Let's go, boys. Let's look at all the brains. Oh, man. Ew. I will never forgive your ass for this. I can blow. Oh, oh, you ready to blow? Oh, he's ready to blow. Every time my fingers touch brain, I'm super fly TNT. I'm super fly TNT. They're just arguing in there. They're so bloody. 
pretty good, except for the blood on the outside. I can't believe this is the same car. Phase one is complete. Clean the car, which moves us right along to phase two. Clean you two. Yeah, they look bad. Quickly, gentlemen. We've got about 15 minutes before Jimmy's better half comes pulling into the driveway. Are you sure this is absolutely necessary? Yes, you got brains in your hair. Toss him in Jim's garbage bag. Don't do nothing stupid like leaving this out front for Otto the garbage man. Don't worry, we're taking it with us. Yeah, I was going to say, don't leave it at, at Jimmy's house. God damn it, what a Hush your hair. Better you than me, gentlemen. The hair, man. Shit out my hair. Yeah, the hair, the hair. Got the brains in there. Oh, right. I forgot. Perfect. Perfect. We couldn't have planned this better. <laughs> yeah, they look good. We're going to a place called Monster Joe's Truck and Tow. Now, I drive real fast, so keep up. If I get my car back any different than I gave it, Monster Joe's going to be disposing of two bodies. Maybe you shouldn't drive so fast if you're trying to not alert the cops. Boys, this is Raquel. Hi. So, what's with the outfits? You guys going to a volleyball game or something? <laughs> they do look like they're going to a volleyball game. <laughs> Move out of the sticks, fellas. Say goodnight, Raquel. Look at those dogs. Thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. Oh, nice puppy. Call me Winston. Winston the Wolf, out. What's your cap? I'm going to go for some breakfast. You feel like having breakfast with me? Cool. Yeah, I could go for some breakfast for real. I might have breakfast for dinner tonight. There's been a lot of breakfast in this movie. I don't know why I just thought you'd be European or something. Because he... Yeah, man, he's about as European as fucking English. Wow. Is this the same diner from the beginning with the pink boots? Look at those pancakes. No, man, I don't eat pork. Why not? Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Actually, I heard that pig pigs are cleaner than dogs sometimes. I don't know if that's true. So a rat may taste like pumpkin pie, but I'd never know because I wouldn't eat the filthy muffin. Rat burgers. What did I just watch with rat burgers? Dog eats his own feces. I don't eat dog either. Yeah, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? No, they're the best, but they are dirty. Yeah. I agree. Dogs are dirty, but I love them. You guys are starting to lighten up. Oh, man, I've just been sitting here thinking about the miracle we witnessed. Demolition Man is the one that had rat burgers. You really thinking about quitting? The life? Yeah. Most definitely. Wow. Really had an experience. What you gonna do then? First, I'm gonna deliver this case to Marcellus. What's in the case? Gold bars? Then, basically, I'm just gonna walk the earth. Walk from place to place, meet people, get in adventures. Walk the earth. So you decided to be a bum. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Got some! It is. And then they hold it up. Oh, shoot, and then we're gonna see what happens. Oh, boy. Oh. And talk to me that way, oh, man. They're there if with my them. answers frighten you, Vincent, well, we then you Vincent should cease asking out. scary questions. Because we see him later. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're jumping around in time here. When did you make this decision? When you were sitting there eating that muffin? Oh, yeah. To be continued. Mm-mm, because they're gonna get, place is gonna get held up now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens? Everybody be cool! This is a robbery! I forgot all about these guys. I Jules and Vincent aren't gonna, gonna take kind of this. Kind of For real, gangsters. Do Don't execute them. Just take whatever you want. Don't Next here. Listen, everybody, be calm, and this will all be over in a minute. Well done. Well done. Meanwhile, he's in the crapper. We're gonna go get all the wallets, right? Gonna come around and collect your wallets. Oh yeah, no, the, he's not just gonna give his wallet. Let me see how this goes down. Oh, he's got stacks and stacks in there too. Oh, he's yeah. ready. Come and get it. He's gonna kill both of them. He's gonna shoot him right in the, in the face. Bag. It's in the case. My boss's dirty laundry. Open it. Oh, I do want to see what's in there, though. Can't do that. He's not even scared. Looks like we got a vigilante in our midst. Be cool, honey bunny. Be cool. No problem. I got it under control. Yeah, she's a little trigger happy. If you don't open that case, I'm going to unload in your face. He should have just hit it under the table. I think he wanted this confrontation. Three. Okay, Ringo. You win. What is, it, what is it? Open it. Doesn't show us. What is it? Is that what I think it is? Mm hmm. Gold, gold. Cool. Oh, she's nuts. Someone's Shut getting shot here. Don't you hurt him. Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. We're all gonna be like three little Fonzies here. And what's Fonzie like? Cool. And that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna be cool. Be cool, man. Someone's getting shot here. Where's Vincent? Normally, both your ass would be dead as fried chicken. But you happen to pull this while I'm in a transitional period. <laughs> Vincent, <laughs> be cool. It's cool, baby. It's cool. Oh my God. How we doing, baby? I, I gotta go pee. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Oh my God. Is he gonna kill them or not? I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad mother. <laughs> Did he really have that on his wallet? <laughs> I gotta wanna write that on my wallet. Open it up. Take out the money. Count it. It's just messing with them. It's yours. Did you give that 
Nimrod fifteen hundred dollars and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda, he ain't gonna do a god. He's got this baby. This is Ted's. I'm buying something for my money. Your life. I'm giving you that money so I don't have to kill your ass. He's a changed man. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. We've heard this three times now. And then he showed up. I've been saying that for years. And if you heard it, that meant your Is he just going to shoot up? Oh, God. Jeez. Go. Let him go. I think we should be leaving now. Yeah, they should go. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Don't forget the briefcase. What's in it? In the shorts. Headed out to a volleyball game. The end. Shoo! That was intense. Okay guys, well that was Pulp Fiction and I really like that. I feel like that's one that you could rewatch and see more things now that you know how the story kind of comes together. I feel like there's probably a lot of little details along the way that are call outs to things that come later. So this one would probably go on my to rewatch in the future list. There was so much here. There were so many little like mini vignettes. They just all sort of came together. So many different characters. I think this movie might not be for everyone, but I really liked it. I especially liked, I mean, all the dialogue which can seem at first glance to just be like mundane conversations about nothing really but it's really like humanizing all the characters and all the characters are flawed and like not great people but they also are charismatic you root for them some of them are enemies of each other so you don't even really know who you're rooting for it's it's quite complex i like too how the dialogue kind of it makes the the violence that much more like you get distracted and lulled into these conversations and then like all of a sudden you know it gets real violent and dark. It's just a really cool, like, well-crafted script, I think, for sure. And then I do, I like the execution. It was, you know, pretty funny in some spots. Like, the humor is very dark, but I really, really liked it. I mean, I liked all the actors in it, obviously. I really liked John Travolta. Samuel L. Jackson did a great job, too. I mean, they all did, but those two really stood out. They were awesome. I feel like I was hanging on their every word. And this is the kind of story where unexpected things happen all the time. So there's, like, a, a layer of tension all the way through at any moment i just felt like crap could start to unravel or someone's getting shot or like that like that freaking gun just went off out of nowhere that part i wasn't even tense great music all the way through this one was was really cool it's a super iconic movie and i can see why and i feel like it must have influenced a lot of movies that came after it i'm a fan i want to see more so let me know what other tarantino we should check out i'm so curious what was in the case i think it was gold let me know what you guys think is in there thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.